ever dreamt of ditching the daily grind, you know, trading it all in for the open road? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what we're doing today, kind of. Yeah. We're diving deep into a real life adventure, a motorcycle journey across the Australian outback. Wow. Now, Google have created a beta of their new AI podcasting tool. So I tested this for our Facebook posts. There's about 20 posts from our trip that we went, uh, we called it our east-west trip from Wollongong to Perth. Personally, I like the way this AI tool actually summarised our trip and added its own character and even humour. So I threw in some photos and videos to be able to share it with you to see what you think as well. We've got this detailed travelogue from two couples who, get this, decided to tackle this epic journey together. Oh, wow. And they weren't just content with, you know, the well-paved highways. They sought out those rugged, like really rugged dirt roads. Oh, the kind that rattle your bones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The kind that rattle your bones and stir your soul. You know, yeah. I get it. What's really interesting here is their choice of bikes. They opted for like specifically adventure motorcycles, okay. which are designed for both on and off-road riding. Makes sense. So it tells us they were prepared for the unexpected, ready to embrace those, you know, challenges that come with the outback. Yeah, venturing off the beaten path a bit so they've got the right gear, adventure spirit. Mm. What's the first thing that strikes them about the Australian landscape? color like vivid breathtaking color okay they describe um enormous canola farms flourishing in the country areas wow like picture this brilliant yellow field stretching as far as the eye can see Gow. it's this stark contrast to the typical image of the outback as dry and desolate you know that's what i love about travel it like challenges those preconceived notions you know what i mean yeah you think you know a place and then bam you turn a corner and you're hit with these incredible like i don't know fields of gold exactly it's enough to make you want to grab a paintbrush absolutely and it's not just the cultivated landscapes that get them they head into the flinders ranges Ooh. calling it the most beautiful picturesque area with its mix of smooth asphalt and those exhilarating unsealed roads wait hold on they actually preferred the dirt roads they did. Tell me more about that. So they found this like thrill in navigating those less traveled paths. Uh. It wasn't about speed or comfort. Right. It was about experiencing the raw, untamed beauty of the outback. Okay. They even mentioned having to rotate your phone to capture the full scope of the landscapes, uh. hinting at the sheer scale and grandeur of the terrain. So it's like they're trading in the smooth predictability of a paved road for that bumpy, unpredictable, but ultimately more rewarding path. I, uh, kind of a uh, kind of metaphor for life, don't you think? <laughs> I like that connection. And speaking of unexpected discoveries, they stumble upon Lake Cargelago, okay. an inland body of water so vast it takes them by surprise. You know, growing up, my image of Australia was pretty much shaped by Crocodile Dundee. Lots of deserts and crocodiles, you know. Right. But a lake that massive. Yeah in the middle of the country. That's not exactly what comes to mind. It highlights the sheer diversity of the Australian landscape. Yeah. A point further emphasized by their encounter with the Great Wall of China rock formation. Okay, you gotta tell me more about this Great Wall. Yeah. Is it the color, mm -hmm. the size? Right. I'm picturing something massive and imposing. You're not far off. While we don't have specific details about its dimensions, the name itself suggests something awe-inspiring. It's a reminder that even in this age of Google Earth, there are still hidden wonders waiting to be discovered. Places that spark our curiosity and make us want to explore further. I like that. So we've got these like incredible natural wonders. But uh, what about the people? Right. They mentioned visiting the line of load lookout panoramic view of Broken Hill. Yeah. What's the story there? So Broken Hill, it's practically like synonymous with mining in Australia. Okay. This town, built on silver, lead, and zinc, right. its history is like etched into the landscape. And I'm guessing the history isn't always pretty. You're right. The writers make a point of visiting the Miner's Memorial in Broken Hill, hmm. a reminder of the uh, the human cost of resource extraction. Yoy. It's sobering when you think about the conditions those miners faced. It's easy to get like caught up in the romance of adventure. Yeah. But this reminds us there are real stories behind those landscapes, you know. Absolutely. And speaking of stories, the travelogue mentions a stop at the head of Bite. Yeah. Now, this might sound like just another coastal point, right? Right. But it's an amazing spot for whale watching. Hold on. Are we talking casual whale watching here or something 
truly spectacular. We're talking southern right whales. Wow. Some of the largest creatures on Earth gathering to breed. The writers describe seeing mothers and their calves like meters from the shore. Yeah, that, that sends chills down my spine. It's a good reminder that sometimes the most awe-inspiring moments, you just can't plan for them. Nature just puts them on display. You can't plan for it? And it wasn't all epic landscapes and wildlife encounters. They also talk about the warmth and generosity of the Australian people. Okay, I've heard Australians are a friendly bunch. But what makes you say that? They mention numerous instances of locals waving as they pass by, even in the most remote areas. Huh. It speaks volumes, you know, about the welcoming spirit they encountered. It's amazing, you know, how these small acts of kindness, they really stick with you. Yeah. But it wasn't all outback hospitality and, you know, rugged landscapes. Right. They eventually made their way to Perth. Yeah, a bustling modern city. What stood out to them there? Well, they stumbled upon something you wouldn't typically associate with the outback. Okay. A massive car show. Yeah, hundreds of classic cars on display, some even racing on a closed circuit. Wow. Mm. It's like they took a hard left turn from the dusty outback yeah. right into a time warp. Right crone and horsepower exactly but even the city they were drawn to this place called fairbridge village yeah what's the story there fairbridge village has a complex history okay it reflects both compassion and kind of a darker side of australia's past right it was established as a home for orphan and disadvantaged children shipped over from the united kingdom wow intended as a place of opportunity right their journey takes them to a final destination that's about as charming as it gets Rotnest Island. Ah. And you know what that means, right? Quokkas. Yes. Their adventure culminates with these adorable marsupials. Remember those smiley faces? How could we forget? They've been teasing these quokka encounters throughout their whole travel I know, right? And they did not exaggerate. Yeah. But they also mentioned something about World War II cannons and tunnels on the island. They did. What's that about? They leave those details kind of vague, like a hidden postscript to their adventure. You know... That's what I love about this deep dive. Yeah. We've journeyed through these breathtaking landscapes, encountered unexpected kindness, and even confronted those uncomfortable truths. It's a journey. It is, all through the lens of this couple's experience. Yeah. And they leave us wanting more, you know. Always leave them wanting more. A reason to keep exploring. That's what it's all about, right? Mm -hmm. So until next time, keep those adventurous spirits alive and maybe... Yes, maybe you'll stumble upon your own quokka encounter along the way. I hope so.